All right, all right. Hello, everybody. Welcome back. It's Chicago Sean, Sean McLaughlin, starting a new campaign. Uh, if you guys read my blog post or saw the video from Friday last week, you know we're starting something new. Uh, if you want to read about it, go to my blog. It's uh, chicagoshawntrades.com. Uh, it's where you can keep up to date with all things uh, that I write about. And I also share the links to these videos there. Now, you'll remember on Friday, Closed out the campaign, the first campaign of the year, ended up being a net wash, no big deal. Uh, but it just it kind of left me wanting more, right? I, I didn't feel like it had enough action. I didn't feel like it had me expressing the right uh, position that I want to be in right now uh, in the market. So we're trying something new. And in the blog post that I wrote on Friday, I talked about how at the end of the trading day uh, on Friday, I started building the position that I am now in. In fact, let me bring up my screen here. And you can see here uh, on Friday, I bought some long straddles in each of the nearest expiration. So if I laid them all out here, I bought at the money straddle. So at the time, heading into Friday's close, SPY was trading around 381. So I bought a 381 straddle, uh, you know, a long call and a long put uh, at 381 in, in each of the next four expiration series. Now, if I go to my, uh, my trade tab here, you could see uh, these trades here at the bottom. These are where we closed out the position that uh, you saw me do, uh, you guys saw me do uh, on Friday's video. And then later in the day, again, the market for me uh, closes at 2 p.m. Uh, I'm in the mountain time zone. So you can see here in the last uh, 20 minutes of trading on Friday is when I legged into or I bought these uh, straddles. Now, what I'm trying to do here is I want to be long gamma and I'm going to sell options against my long gamma position as the market moves. So you can see this morning, let me undo all these. This morning I did two trades basically in the same thing. I sold the 378 puts. So let's bring this back up. So the market gapped lower this morning and when it gapped lower, the delta in my position, which right now you can see uh, right here is approximately almost 10, negative 10 deltas. But this morning at the open, when the SPY gapped lower, let's see if we can go back here. Here's this morning's gap. We opened right here around 377, okay? So significant uh, low or significantly departure from Friday's close. Because of that, because I'm long gamma, my position opened with a positional delta of negative 160, it was somewhere around 160 at the open this morning. And so to bring my nelt, my deltas back to neutral, which is what I wanna do, I sold these three puts here at this 378 strike. Let me just close these other expiration series up not to confuse us. Just focus right here. So these are options expiring today. And so at the open, I sold these 378 puts because at the time, these were closest to at the money and they were sporting a 50 delta. Right now, they only sport an 11 delta as the market's gone higher since the open. But selling these three puts at that time, when my positional, my total positional delta was negative 160, selling these three puts at 50 deltas each, 50 times three is 160, that brought my delta right back to pretty close to neutral. And you can see down here, you can see the credits I brought in. I sold two at $1.12 and I sold a third at $1.22. So I brought in 300 some dollars in credits this morning, to, which is nice. And I'm glad I did because the market has since rallied. And now I'm sitting on, you can see right here, $307 profit just in selling those three naked short puts. Or they're not naked, I'm sorry, they're covered. But now this is what we're gonna do. Since we're at expiration day for these options, uh, my long calls are currently out of the money, so I'm not gonna do anything. I'm just gonna let those do what they do. But this long put is in the money. So I don't wanna just close it down. I'm actually just gonna roll this put out to the next, uh, to the next expiration series, uh, which is Wednesday, January 13th. I don't wanna close it, I'm just gonna roll it out. However, these short puts here I'm gonna close. In fact, I'll close these right now. Let's just buy them to close. Okay, I just covered them uh, at uh, 15 cents. I got filled at 15 cents on the bid. Nice, nice fill, right? Especially if the market just started to sell off there a little bit as we're talking. So I closed those down. Now I'm gonna roll these puts out to the next expiration series. So I'm gonna sell here. I'm gonna buy here. It's gonna cost me $1.36 debit. Okay, let's do it. 
boom, got filled real quick. Now, you can see <laughs> my position delta. Oh no, let's, uh, sorry, I gotta unclick all that. According to that, my position delta is zero, but that doesn't feel right. I think, you know what, let's just, let's uh, switch this up, bring, come on back. There we go. Now my positional delta is minus 45, minus 68, excuse me. So what do I want to do here? I want to make an adjustment. I want to bring my deltas back to neutral. Now the rule I'm going to follow going forward is when I'm up on the day, when my PL is positive, I want to be a seller of options, in which case I'll sell the nearest expiration options. In this case, if I were to do that, I'd sell the January 13th. I'm not going to sell January 11th because they expire in the next hour and a half. So those are pretty much done for the day. But if I was up on the day, which I am not, but if I were, I would sell the January 13th at the money puts to bring my deltas in line. But on days where I'm down, like I am today, instead of being a seller of options, I want to be a buyer of options. And I'm gonna buy in the back week, or at least back from where, <laughs> the longest out from where I'm at currently. Right now I got options in January 19th. You can see I got the straddle there at 81. So I'm gonna to go to January 20. And since I'm, my, I have a negative delta of 68, I need to buy some delta. I need to be, I need to buy some calls, right? So I'm gonna buy the, out, the at the money 381 call. Go ahead and buy it. Just got filled. That gave me that gave me 46 deltas. And now my positional delta is closer to zero. It's at minus 22. That's good. Basically, as long as I'm inside 50, whether plus or minus 50, that's kind of where I want to be. And I won't make any more adjustments until this delta gets below 50 or above 50. And I'll make some more adjustments throughout the trading day if that happens. If not, I'll sit in my hands and do nothing and come back tomorrow and, and try again. So guys, that's what I'm doing uh, with my position right now. Uh, I'll probably start adding some more straddles uh, deeper out to, uh, to put more on. But uh, as you can see, if I go here, if I just highlight all the trades that I've done since I started this new campaign, you'll see that I'm currently risking, uh, my, my total out of pocket is $1,950 plus the, these commissions. Let's just call it uh, 1960, okay? So 1960 is the most I could lose. That's what I'm risking right now. Again, this is small potatoes. This is, I'm not like going for anything crazy here. I'm just trying to, uh, to experiment with some new things, try uh, different ideas without risking too much money, without uh, risking, uh, you know, getting myself in over my head. If you guys have any ideas about this, any thoughts, any questions, please send them to me. Uh, you can hit me in, in the YouTube uh, channel or you can hit me on Twitter. I'm at Chicago Sean. Again, this is a work in progress. Sorry if I didn't explain what I'm doing very well. I'll try better. I'll keep trying. I'm trying to get better. I'm getting trying to learn how to not only do this new strategy, but, but also how to make videos. This is all totally new to me. So thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see you again tomorrow. Trade them well.